DepEd nyo, baka palya na. Ano nangyari? Ganito, ganito. Oh, ganito. Kasi naghihiring na ngayon, di ba, sa lower house. Naghihiring na sila. Tungkol sa cha-cha. Hmm. Ngayon, ano nangyari? Eto ngayon ang ganap. Saan ka nakakita ng DepEd na ang sabi, kumokontra sila sa cha-cha? Bakit? Bakit? Alam niyo kung ba't sila kumokontra sa cha-cha? Kasi it's a national security threat. What the F are you thinking? What uh, what the F are you smoking there in DepEd? Ano nangyari sa inyo, DepEd? O, oh, konting background, konting background, ha? Konting background. Panunod tayo ng video. Medyo mahaba, around 20 minutes. Pero, <sighs> ewan ko. <laughs> Eto. Konting background, guys. Alam naman natin na naghihiring na nga ngayon sa RBH7. Oh, naghihiring na ngayon dyan. Yung RBH7, ito yung charter change. Cha-cha. Sa ekono- am- pag-amienda ng economic provisions. Okay. Ngayon, kasama dyan sa mga provision na babaguhin is the is Article 14. Section 4 of Article 14. Which is Education, Science, and Technology, Arts, Culture, and Sports. Where the phrase, unless provided by law, is inserted in the provision that bars foreign ownership of basic educational institutions, ibig sabihin, high school pababa, except in a case where 60% of the total capital belongs to Filipino citizens. Ano po ibig sabihin yan? Simple lang naman po. Sa constitution po kasi natin ngayon, Article 14, ayan, Article 14, oh. wait, lalakihan ko. Ayan, 14, 14. Ito, 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 ito. Education, Science, and Technology, Arts, Culture, and Sports. Ano yung babaguhin daw? Section 4. Okay, Section 4. So sabi, Section 4. The state recognizes the complementary roles of public and private institutions in the educational system and shall exercise reasonable supervision and regulation of all educational institutions. So, ano daw? Educational institutions other than those established by religious groups and mission boards shall be owned solely by citizens of the Philippines. Okay? Bakit hiwalay yung sa religious groups and mission boards? Kasi nga, mga kutsero, sa Pilipinas, ang uh, religious groups, ang mga tinatay, sila ay corporation sole or corporation sole. Ibig sabihin, kakaiba sila sa, iba, sa, sa mga ibang negosyo. So, hindi sila counted dito kasi they're corporation soul. Kapag nagtayo sila ng skwelahan, yung skwelahan na yun will be under the church. So, it is separate from every other schools. Pero sumusunod sila sa DepEd regulations. But anyway, so shall be owned by uh, solely by citizens of the Philippines or corporations at least 60% of the capital of which is owned by such citizens. Imagine, mga kutsero, pati pala sa ating educational system, may 60-40. <laughs> pati sa pag-aaral, guys, may 60-40. <laughs> Kaya pala ang pangit ng education system natin. Isa sa mga bagay kung ba't pangit. Uh, may 60-40 din eh. Yan. Ngayon, uh, ang gustong gawin dito, ang gustong gawin dito, mga kutsero, ay lalagyan, mag insert lang sila ng uh, isang sentence. Phrase pala, unless provided by law. Ito lang naman, unless provided, ba't tumatalon yung ano ko? Mouse ko. Ayan, unless provided by law. Yan lang, idadagdag lang yan, unless provided by law. Ito yung kinokontra ng departamento ni BP Sara. Bakit ko, bakit ko kailangan i-bring up si VP Sara dito? Kasi siya yung secretary. At hindi haharap sa hearing etong mga undersecretary niya nang hindi kumukonsulta kay VP Sara. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga sinabi nila dito sa mapapanood niyong video ay may basbas ni VP Sara. Kaya napatanong ako habang pinapanood ko siya kanina. Anong ginagawa ng mga tao dyan sa loob ng DepEd? Bakit sila ganito mag-isip? 
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Konting background ulit. Nagkaroon na kasi ng prior hearing bago ito. No na bring up yung national security issue. Hindi nila nasagot. Hindi ho nila nasagot yung tanong ng link. Ano ba yung connect ng uh, pagpasok ng uh, education, foreign educational institution sa Pilipinas at national security? Hindi nila nasagot. Okay. Game. Tuloy tayo. Chair, um, the, the uh, reservation of the DepEd uh, as stated in the position paper and as uh, repeatedly uh, discussed is the possible limitation of control over the curriculum and how uh, it is to be administered in the event that uh, legislation would not sufficiently provide for control. And uh, what we are just concerned about is if uh, in case uh, such situation where no sufficient control is uh, required, there may be a, an unfortunate situation where the curriculum or the teachings that may be uh, provided run contrary to our principles and values and ideologies as presently required in our constitution. It's that uh, general reservation. Yeah, na po, Mr. G- Sino doon yung nagsasalita? Yung nagsasalita, USEC yan ng DepEd. Isa sa mga USEC ng DepEd. So, nag-submit sila ng position paper. So, ibig sabihin, mga kotsero, itong position paper na to na ibinigay ng DepEd sa Kongreso kontra, kontra sa Charter Change Amendment ng uh, Constitution natin regarding education. Eh, pinir- may ano to, may basbas to ni Bibi Sara. Hindi naman yan isasubmit sa ano, sa Kongreso nang walang basbas ni Bibi Sara eh. Kasi siya yung mag- magmumukang tanga dyan. Diba? Si Vivi Sara yung magmumukang eng-eng dyan. Hindi naman sila. Ngayon, mga kodjero, ito yung dahilan. Ito yung uh, rational. The rational daw is this. Kapag daw pinayagan yan, yung pag-amienda sa saligang batas regarding sa education, pag siningitan daw ito, kahit anong provision dyan sa section 4, ng uh, as provided by law, as provided by law, eh baka mawalan daw ng control. Uh, i-regulate ang mga tinuturo, ang mga tinuturo sa mga bata. Baka mawalan daw sila ng oversight powers ng kapangyarihan bantayan ko ano yung tinuturo sa mga kabataan. 'Yun yung reklamo ni DepEd. See how stupid that is. <laughs> It presumes na oh, take note ha. It assumes na papalpak yung law na gagawin. Painggan niyo uli yung sinabi ni Kuya, ang sinabi niya, pakado kasi kapag nag-legislate ng batas eh hindi maisama na yung regulation ng mga paaralan ay dadaan sa DepEd. Oh, painggan uli natin yung sinabi niya. Pinaganda lang niya yung sinabi eh, para hindi masyado siguro offensive sa mga kongresista. Pero yun ang ibig yun ang gusto niyang ibig niyang tumbukin maybe uh, provided run contrary to our principles and values and ideologies as presently required in our constitution it's that uh, general reservation yeah, pasensya na po Mr. Chair ang pagkaintindi ko ang sagot ng ating undersecretary from DepEd is baka yung morals and values dun sa curriculum ng mga foreign institution will run in contrast to the values of the Filipino. So, let's say, for example, teenage pregnancy. Does that run in contrast to the values of Filipinos? Uh, um, that is, uh, perhaps that is not what is contemplated. Uh, if there are ideologies Ayan, uh. that are not uh, consistent with our uh, current uh, ideologies and principles as provided in our constitution. So, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, pagkaintindi ko, the Department of Education still holds oversight powers to these institutions. <laughs> yeah, am I correct? That, that's, correct. that's correct. That's correct. Uh, ano mong pala eh? Ano reklamo? So, therefore, Mr. Chair, with a statement that um, they might be left and they might be teaching the wrong ideologies, this is giving a false interpretation of the real content of RBH 7. Yeah, the reason why I'm asking this, Mr. Chair, is that we all know that the Department of Education 
is a government institution. Right. So, kung mali yung kanilang pagkakala na mawawala ng uh, oversight ang Philippine government on the institutions coming in, if we open our country to investors, I think that's a very wrong interpretation, Mr. Chair. Because that's basic in the authority and obligations of the Department of Education. Right. You cannot relinquish that. Right. Nasa mandato kasi ng DepEd yun. Mali yung assumption ni DepEd. Bibi Sara, ba't nyo naman pinayagan to sabihin ng tao nyo? So, kaya daw siya national security threat kasi mawawalan daw ng control ang DepEd sa curriculum. At baka raw kapag nagpasok, baka raw pa, baka pag nagpasok ng uh, mga paaralan na galing sa ibang bansa, eh mawalan daw ng oversight cap uh, uh, capabilities no o oversight powers ang ating Department of Education. Alam nyo po, yung kapangyarihan nyo bilang DepEd ay nasa batas ho yan. Hindi ho yan basta-basta mawawala. It's in the law. It's in your charter. Oo. Nasa batas ho yun. Hindi ho yun basta-basta pwedeng i-relinquish. Uh, uh, yes, Mr. Chair, the, uh, the reservation really uh, revolves around the If I may quote from the position paper, the phrase, unless otherwise provided by law, and its underlying rationale that could potentially serve as a gateway to expand the scope and control and administration over educational institutions, uh, not solely by citizens of the Philippines. And we will proceed to the last paragraph, if I may, Mr. Chair. In view of the foregoing, the, the department opposes the amendments specifically vest the possibility of vesting full control and administration of basic education to aliens through legislation. So we agree, uh, Mr. Chair, that the, the debt ed under the current system uh, exercises supervision, if not regulation, over the implementation of the curriculum. Uh, we are just concerned about the possibility that through subsequent legislation, this may be diminished. That's presumptive. Uh, That's that, that, that's ano that's subjective and presumptive of DepEd. Na baka in the future pag sumulat kayo ng batas ay eh, tanggalan niyo kami ng kakayahan na bantayan ng mga paaralan. That's presumptive. Hindi pa nga nangyayari. Meron na bang actual case or controversy? Parang wala pa naman. Take note, ulitin ko mga kochero ha. DepEd ang sumulat ng position paper. At uh, this is an official statement of DepEd. At dumaan, malamang sa malamang, dumaan to sa mga mata ni Vivi Sara. Mr. Chair, distinguished colleagues, your honors, medyo kinakabahan kasi ako. Because of course, we have heard DepEd. And if their interpretation is that, let's say, if you have an uh, UK standard of uh, basic education, or let's say you have an American standard of basic education, or let's say you have the Singapore standard of basic education, ang ibig ba sabihin nun eh, magtuturo yung mga ito ng maling ideologies which will pose a threat to national security. Because I really don't find, Mr. Chair, the connection between national security and education. My point here, Mr. Chair, distinguished colleagues, is hindi po ba medyo mahirap ng isang napaka-importanting ahensya ng gobyerno, which is the Department of Education, ay tila nililihis ang usapin ng resolution of both houses number 7, which is the economic chacha, to national security. Kasi later on, medyo mahirap yan. Baka mamaya mapagbintangan na we're using like security funds or <laughs> intel funds. For confidential ko lang, funds! The problem... Naisingit pa yung confidential funds. <laughs> Naisingit pa yung confidential funds, guys! <laughs> On some, I'm not saying many, ha? the problem of some possible teachers putting in wrong ideologies that is a threat to national security. Is this among foreign legitimate professors or is this among Filipino teachers? Oi! Oi! Good question! 
Congressman Garin. <laughs> Sino ba yung nagtuturo ng maling ideology? Yung foreign institutions ba? O yung mga teacher natin dito? Sino ba yung nagtuturo ng communist ideologies? Mga foreigners ba? Hindi naman. Yung mga teacher na under ng act teachers. <laughs> Huli. In fairness, naipit. Naipit ang ano doon. Naipit sila. Sorry. <laughs> Sa pagkakaintindi nyo? Uh, right now, Mr. Chair, I don't have uh, specific data on that, but the DepEd uh, simply is concerned about the possibility and should the amendments perhaps uh, not be open-ended uh, unless otherwise provided by law, then there is an assurance that regulation of the government over the curriculum and the manner by which it is administered, uh, consistent with the uh, national values and principles, uh, if that may be the case. Uh, Again, Mr. Chair, Chair <laughs> distinguished colleagues, <laughs> we have to separate national security from the morals and the values that DepEd is talking about. I think these are two. No, I don't, I am not saying I think. I am definitely sure that if we talk about Filipino culture, morals, and values, this is a separate entity from national security concerns. Kasi, Mr. <laughs> Chair, ituhog lang po natin dun sa nakaraang mga budget hearings. I was actually very supportive for the Department of Educa Education getting confidential funds simply because I heard the claim of the Department of Education that our students are seemingly being penetrated by wrong ideologies. Kaya nga, suportadong suportado po nung panahon na yun, na may bigyan ng confidential fund ang DepEd. But my understanding, this is a problem that was coming internally from the provinces. So mukhang hindi po ito related doon sa economic charges. So I just want to, the DepEd to be very clear about this. Kasi if we say that um, if the allegation or the fear of possible trespassing of Moralities, values, and culture of Filipinos will transcend to threats to national security. Medyo kinakabahan po ako na this is a statement uh, coming from the Department of Education because apparently and very glaring, it's a twisted statement, Mr. Chair. Kasi magkaibang magkaiba po talaga ang Filipino culture, Filipino morals, and values. Versus vis-a-vis -vis national security. Ang pagkaintindi ko po, national security is actually a threat to our country in so far as, let's say, a pandemic or let's say, China. insurgency. China. Uh, let's say, terrorism. China. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, with, with... Nagsalita na ba si Bibi Sara tungkol dyan sa nangyaring banggaan sa West Philippines? Eh? Wala pa rin, di ba? La pa rin. La pa rin. Concern na concern kayo sa national security, pero in China, hindi nyo mapansin. Di ba? China is a national security threat. Hindi nyo pinapansin? Ang pinagtitripan nyo, yung economic cha-cha? What the F are you smoking in depth, Ed? With uh, due respect, uh, we believe that the incorrect ideologies, if taught uh, to the youth uh, during which time that it is the formative stage of our of our citizens, uh, it will it will and may pose a, a threat to. So, Mr. Chairman, our... ask them, Ed, do you know of any institution worldwide that invested in other countries and ended up teaching? ideologies concerning national security. Meron po ba sa buong mundo? You, you mingle with other DepEd um, uh, officials from all over the world. Uh, I don't have specific information, Madam Chair. But... Would you know of a specific school or a specific country na binuksan nila, nagkaroon sila ng economic chacha, they opened their country, and a school or institution entered their country 
and taught wrong ideology to their children. Do you have any country in mind or any school to be exact? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, I don't have any specific country in mind. Uh, I would just like to respectfully reiterate that the reservation of death ed is the diminution of control over the curriculum or as to what will be taught Filipino citizens. And, okay. uh, so in other words, Mr. Chair, ang official na pinapanindigan at binabasa ng Department of Education is widow-widow lang. <laughs> widow-widow. Because, I mean, the, <laughs> widow, widow lang this... This um, feeling, official feelings, uh. opinion of uh, the Department of Education is widow-widow lang. Because my understanding, Mr. I mean, I wouldn't take offense if it's one of the NGOs that I will fully understand if it's one of the private associations. But if it's a statement coming from the government, the Department of Education per se, and the basis of this memorandum is actually purely widow-widow, or let's say, hindi natin matumbok ang naging basihan. Let me cite, for example, you mentioned, baka yung ituro ay mga maling ideology, and you have no data of any school or any country who has this experience. And again, saying that encroaching on the morals and values will result to a threat on national security. Um, this bothers me, Mr. Chair, with due courtesy. Kasi um, when a government entity or a government institution makes a memorandum, meron niyang dapat basis. Right. So may I ask if this is really an opinion of the Department of Education? Or is it purely the fear of an individual who influenced the crafting of this official stand with regards to RBH-7? <laughs> Sagutin niya yan. Uh, Mr. Chair, this is the stand of the Department of Ed Education. And uh, the, again, the concern is to ensure that the curriculum that will be taught uh, in the Philippines to schools attended by Filipino citizens will be consistent with the uh, government prescribed curriculum, uh, Mr. Chair. Is it not that that is part of your obligation, your responsibilities as the Department of Education of the Philippines? <laughs> uh, yes, precisely. It is already our, our, a part of our mandate, uh, Madam but Chair. Ikot, ikot si Guya. provision uh, which opens up to possible uh, legislation that may deviate from that uh, is the concern. Mr. Uh, Chair, can I have a specific example? <laughs> ikot, ikot si Kuya. Ikot, ikot lang. Ikot, ikot, ikot lang. <laughs> Pero at least, mga kuchero, may admission. May admission sila. Ano admission? The admission is, ayaw nilang magpapasok ng foreign educational system sa Pilipinas. Bakit? Ang iniisip nila, it's a national security threat. <laughs> How can education be a national security threat? Seriously. Seriously. Alam niya mga ako, Jero. Kung ikaw, kasi alam niyo, ako I can cite an example of an institution sa abroad nga lang, ha? hindi sa Pilipinas, that uh, can negatively influence their country because of their educational system at kung sino yung pinapasok nila. Meron kasing isang bansa sa continent ng Africa, nakalimutan ko lang kung aling bansa, nakasama sa BRICS, so sa South Africa to, nagpatayo sila ng school. China ang nagtayo ng school. Pero, ni-require nila na sa school na yon, e tuturuan nila yung mga sadyante kung paano magpropaganda para sa China. Yun. Ako, that's off the top of my head. Ha? Off the top of my head. Ako nga, alam ko yun eh. Sila hindi nila alam. O hindi nila inalam. Hindi nila inalam yun. Ako nga, alam ko eh. Sa Palestine din, meron. Hmm. 
doon lang magiging national security threat yan. Pero alam nyo, maako, Chero, bakit papayag ang isang bansa? In, in our case, lalo na sa Pilipinas. Bakit papayag ang Pilipinas na didiktahan ng ibang bansa kung ano yung tinuturo natin sa mga bata? Eh, dito pala nga eh. Wala ka ngang foreign investor eh. Meron ka ng salugpungan schools. May Alcadev schools ka. Di ba inaprubahan pa nga yan ng DepEd before? Naalala nyo yun? Panahon ni Panot Aquino. Panahon ni Panot Aquino. Diyos ko, tanda ko talaga to. Panahon ni Panot Aquino, nakikipag-usap ang DepEd sa CPP and PANDF para magkaroon sila ng isang curriculum para sa Alcadev at sa Lugpungan Schools. Tapos iyayabang nyo sa amin ngayon, sasabihin nyo, ah, kailangan meron kaming regulatory powers kasi baka ma-influensyahan yung curriculum. E dito nga lang sa Pilipinas, ginagawa na, hindi nyo inaksyonan. Eh. Tapos sasabihin nyo, regulatory powers, regulatory powers. Kailan tinanggal ang ano, lisensya ng DepEd license itong mga salugpungan schools? Panahon ni Digong. Sabi sa inyo, eh, may naganawa naman tama si Digong kahit isa. NTFL ka. <laughs> Tsaka build, build, build. But that's about it. <laughs> But even then, mga Rogero, eh kayo nga eh. Kayo, meron kayong regulatory powers. Hindi nyo in-exercise noon. Ngayon, gusto nyong pigilan ang investment ng foreign school sa Pilipinas dahil it's a national security threat? Eh baka mas maganda pa nga ipasok nila eh. Kasi malamang sa malamang, kapag foreign institution, ang mga teacher, foreigner. Mas updated sa teknolohiya, mas updated sa science, mas, mas, mas updated sa technology, mas updated sa engineering, mas updated sa math. Yun ang kailangan natin eh, STEM, STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, and math. Ayaw nyo ipasok? Gusto nyo habang buhay bobo mga Pilipino? Nahuli na tayo sa PISA. Huling-huli na tayo sa PISA, guys. Kayo dyan sa DepEd, huling-huli na tayo sa PISA. Ayaw nyo i-improve ang educational system ng Pilipinas? DepEd pa man din kayo. Ano nangyari dyan, sekretary? Natin. Let's say, what specific legislation do you fear of? Para naman po guided kami ang mga legislators. Uh, Let's say, okay, for the sake of uh, a academic discussion, RBH 7 is approved. The approve ito. Ano yung kinakatakutan mo ang gagawing batas ng mga mambabatas ng Pilipinas that will lead to national security threat? Uh, Madam Chair, um, so Chair, in an extreme case, if there is a legislation that establishes an international school and said the uh, requirement, uh, said legislation exempts the, the school from uh, government regulation, the please, government please, control please. and administration, uh, Madam Chair, because the... Ano Mr. Chair, if I may, um, sayang kasi oras, please be specific. What specific legislation are you afraid of? Granting for the sake of argument, RBH 7 was approved. Ano yung kinakatakutan yung paano kalang batas na sabihin natin ipafile ni Congressman Dalipe or ni Congressman Gonzalez or ni Congressman J.J. Suarez? Ano po ang specific batas na kinakatakutan nyo? Because your, your answer is really very... Yes, uh, Madam Chair. A law that would establish a school uh, owned by foreign entities without regulation uh, by the Philippine okay, government uh, open to Filipino citizens. That would Sorry, be, a school? Uh, your, well, your fear is that Congress and Senate will legislate the creation of a school? Uh, 
that is the contemplation of the of the memorandum, uh, Mr. Chair. If there is a, an establishment of uh, educational institutions where the uh, the learners are Filipinos, but the control and administration over same school is limited or uh, non-existent as far as the Philippine government is concerned. So let's say, for example, um, you have the International School of Manila and you have British School Manila. British School. Are these That's schools right. under the control of NEPED? Um, by provision of law, yes. Uh, in, two, uh, in, uh, in the case of the British School, uh, as earlier discussed, the RA provides for two provisions by which government exercises regulation. And I understand that these provisions are there because the Constitution expressly provides that the control and administration of educational institutions shall be vested in citizens of the Philippines, Mr. Chair. Yes, the Constitution. No, Mr. Chair, balikan po natin yung aking tanong. No? Ang, tanong po, ang tanong ko po ay kasi it became a very major core of your objection. Your fear of con your concerns regarding national security. So, ano po ang specific? Ano pa yung tuhog? Pambukin natin. <laughs> tuhog. Let us not go to um, mother, motherhood statements. Uy, Lenny yan. Mahilig sa motherhood statements. Kasi you have here your three distinguished colleagues. Congressman Dalipe, Congressman Gonzalez, and Congressman J.J. Suarez. Ano po ang kinakatakutan yung gagawin nilang panukalang batas? Nasa pananaw niyo, will lead to major concerns on national security. Ang ibig niyo bang sabihin, takot kayo na meron mga estudyante ang banyaga at hindi Pilipino at dumaramay sila sa Pilipinas and this will pose as a national security threat? Is that, that's my understanding of... Uh... Um, Mr. Chair, uh, the, the reservation does not refer to any specific member of Congress. Just to be clear, it, no, 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 it, it no. does not refer Mr. also Chief to I this may. specific um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you an example. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I, I only I'm... wanted one question. That's on national security. So my question again is, what is the specific tumbukin mo, please? Tumbukin mo, ano ba ang pwedeng mangyari kapag nagkaroon tayo ng economic cha-cha and this will lead to national security concerns? Hypothetical situation Pointing niya. Pointing our three leaders here was just an example para mas maging specific. And you're telling me that eh, ba hindi mo tinutumbok na baka sila mag-file? No, that's just an example. You have members of Congress here listening and also on Zoom. So, pag pinasa, let me rephrase my question. Pag pinasa ang RBH 7 and RBH 6 ng Senado, ano ang specific na panukalang batas na kinakatakutan nyo, na sinasabi nyo na paulit-ulit that this will lead to grave concerns on national security. Ang kinakatakutan nyo ba eh dahil papayagan yung ibang mga banyagang studyante na pumasok na, dito oh, ng elementary at high school, eh. sila'y maging terorista? <laughs> Mr. Values. Morals, and values, uh, ideologies, and uh, other, other matters, uh, Mr. Chair, that if in the event that the control or regulation of government is withdrawn, there would be no accountability on said Ang ibig uh, natin sabihin, baka sakaling mawalan ng control ang gobyerno at ngayon yung school na yon o yung paaralan na yon ay ituturo sa mga estudyante ang pagiging terorista. Is so, nagpungan schools, Alcatev, it's the same. Not, it's specific, uh, not specifically that. Then have... what is the national security concern that you are concerned about? Uh, what was discussed within the premises of the Department of Education? Because this is an official statement. And my understanding is that this was thoroughly discussed by Execom, the oh, USEX, Execom. the ASEX, and all those involved in crafting this. Because it's a government institution. <laughs> and ano po ba? ang naging reason. Yun lang kung meron. But Mr. Chair, if I may, eh kung kunyari, medyo talaga namang pati sila ay nalilito dahil hindi rin nila maintindihan yung kanilang Position. official stand, then we will accept that. Mr. Chair, um, I will quote from the, the position paper 
the open the possible opening up of the ulit ulit si Kuya uh, control and supervision over yeah, schools yeah thank you chair uh, i've read this position paper more than 20 times and i'm sorry my ans my question has not been answered and i do hope that maybe deped can just write up write us and send uh, the august uh, committee okay. an explanation of the link between rbh7 and national security because i don't want our people to believe in the fallacy that economic cha-cha and national security is related. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and maraming salamat po. Okay, floor leader. <laughs> Alam mo kasi ni Kuya, paulit-ulit siya. Lagi niyang kinocote yun ng, yung kanina pa niyang sinasabi na kapag nagpapasok ka ng foreigners, baka mawalan daw ng control ang DepEd sa... sa manner siguro sa curriculum o sa manner of uh, uh, instruction baka raw mag-legislate ng something that is contrary to the no to to the constitution kasi galalagyan mo ng ano eh um, as provided by law eh mga kutsero eto nga balikan na natin putahan na nga natin yung ano yung charter na nga <laughs> yung DepEd law ayan ayan Ni-revise na kasi eh, 2001. Uh, establishing authority and accountability, renaming the Department of Education, Culture, and Sports as the Department of Education and for other purposes. So, medyo ano na, ni, ni update na yung charter ng DepEd. Anong trabaho ng DepEd? O eto, puntahan natin, trabaho ng DepEd. Lang yan. Ah, saan na yan? Ah, the Department of Education, Culture, and Sports shall henceforth be called Department of Education. It shall be vested with authority, accountability, and responsibility for ensuring access to, promoting equity in, and improving the quality of basic education, arts, uh, basic education, arts, culture, and sports shall be provided for in section 8 and 9 hereof. May batas na kayo eh. O di, as provided by law, hindi pwedeng kumontra dito. Yung economic cha-cha. So yung premise, mga Kujero, the premise is flawed. Na kapag nagpapasok ka ng foreign institution sa Pilipinas, tapos baka sakali, in the future, mag-legislate ng batas na kukontra sa oversight functions ng DepEd, it's flawed. Kasi meron ng batas tungkol sa DepEd. Ang nakakatawa dito, mga kutsero, ang sumulat ng position paper are the execom, which includes the secretary. And the USEX. This is the best you can come up with? The, bre the, 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 the greatest minds in Philippine education? Is, is This is what you can come up with? <laughs> Tuloy. So, plus si Kuya, kawawa naman. <laughs> Nagbabasa lang kasi. Na... Pinabasa lang kasi naman niya yun. Na... Nasa position paper. <laughs> Pinabasa lang kasi niya yun. Nasa position paper. Hey, an an simple lang naman yung tinatanong. Ang tanong is this. Meron ka... Ano, ano ba yung kinakatakot nyo? Ang kinakatakot nyo ba ay baka mag-legislate ang Congress ng uh, law that will allow, that will remove pala, that will remove the authority of the DepEd from regulating these foreign institutions. Ano? Hindi niya sinagot. Hindi <laughs> niya sinagot. Paulit-ulit lang siya. <laughs> Paulit-ulit lang siya. Uh, let me quote from the position paper. Let me quote from the position paper. <laughs> Napiko na tuloy si Janet Garin. <laughs> Dalawampung beses ko nang binabasa yan. <laughs> Ay, BP, mga tao mo, yusin mo. <laughs> Most trusted ka pa naman. <laughs> Most trusted pa yan. Hmm. And uh, I'll see all of you in our next Coach Jared Live. God bless you. See you next time, guys. Bye!
pag ganun, hindi natin gawing tanga mga Pilipino. Mas maganda kasi nasa lugar mo ng tanga kaysa yung Pilipilit mo yung pagkakamali. Are they willing to go that far? Hindi makakalimutan ng Pilipino yan hanggat di nasasagot niya. Sino ngayon ang sasabi ng totoo?